As we roll down this unfamiliar road. Hi friends, this is Everything aka Duct Tape Girl D here. And today, welcome to for the very first time to a book read through. Um, what I'm going to be reading today is 101 Ways to Bug Your Friends and Enemies. Um, I bought this book about a year ago and I wanted to read it. So this is meant for you to sit back, relax, with maybe your headphones in, earbuds in, um, and listen to me read you this book that is about... Steve Sneeze Wyatt has more on his plate than any 12-year-old should, even one who's a genius inventor talking, taking high school classes. A meathead varsity athlete has it in for him. His friends are acting funny, not funny, haha, -ha, funny weird. His crush is drooling over this handsome new Hawaiian kid. He finds himself writing love letters. What? His nice alarm is not working nicely, and he still can't get out of taking P.E. With a hilarious cast and plenty of zingy banter, this book is the third book in the 100 wa 101 Ways series delivers the goods for friends and enemies alike. So this sounds pretty awesome. So I'm going to start reading. So go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy a good book that you don't have to read. Chapter 1. Steph Stephen J. Wyatt. You're not peeking, are you? Haley's guiding hand became a boa constrictor squeeze. Ow, I said, rubbing my arm. You're kidding me, right? Are you peeking? I could feel her infamous SOS, squint of suspicion, searing through the blindfold, searching for guilt in my eyes. No, honest, I half laughed, half, half gasped. Goldie tied his blindfold so tight it's embedded in my corneas. And scraping my chap nose like like a cheese grater, I ache to whimper. But there's only so much wimpiness a guy likes to admit. Especially in front of G-I-R-L-S. Goldie's words slip, dripped with sly glee. Just some a little something I learned at spy camp. I call it Goldie's Knot. Goldie's Knot what? I heard Ace say. His voice filled with yawn. Goldie's not able to untie it, that's what. I wore my best friend hiccup. Especially if it's similar to the Gordian knot of Miss Macedonia. Legends tell of knot who no one could loosen until Alexander the Great. That is not so interesting, Pierre said in his phony French accent. It was early September, and the six of us, me, Haley, Barker, Hiccup, Donardo, Goldie Lo Lowix, Pierre Noel, and Ace, who was, cool to, who was too cool to have a last name, were all crammed in the side of the hot, musty office at Gadabout Golf, the funky miniature golf course Haley's dad owns. I work part-time there as a mechanic, and when I'm not busy inventing, attending class at Jefferson Middle School, or away on vacation, that is. After road tripping across California with my parents all summer, this was my first day home. My first half-hour home. No sooner had I finished lugging our suitcases into the house than our kitchen phone rang. Sneeze, Haley stated my nickname in her business-like tone. It's an emergency. Get to get about. Now. Haley's my number two best friend, and my boss, so when she says now, I know she really means get in here 20 minutes or you are fired. That would be the equivalent of surgically removing my soul with a golf club. So I dropped the receiver, clipped on my tool belt, hollered a hasty goodbye to mom and dad, and sped off on my bike with visions of the leading tower of Pisa, hole number 17, crisp splashing in my head. Rats, Pisa must have toppled onto King Arthur's moat. I warned Mr. Barker weeks ago that it needed propping, but did he listen? Nineteen minutes and thirty-two seconds later, I skidded to a stop at the gadabout's rusty gates and hustled through the office door. That's when I'd been jumped from behind. Hey! Blindfolded. Ow! Spun thrice. Whoa! And painfully accused of peeking. 
Come on, guys, I pleaded now. What's going on now? Pierre snickered through his nose. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Please keep on Z. How do you say it? Pantaloons. You'll find out soon enough, Goldie said, spinning me again. I half laughed, half hurled. Easy does it, hiccup fused. Vertigo may induce vomiting. Oh, gag, Goldie said. Exactly, hiccup agreed. Haley tested the knot knuckling my skull. Not so fast, sneeze. If you're not peeking, how did you know Goldie tied your blind blindfold? He snuck up from you behind. Elementary, my mistier barker, I said, trying to sound Sherlockian. I have a tentious reputation for being a genius, as well as a kid whiz inventor, and never miss the opportunity to strengthen that rep among the non-believers, meaning Goldie and Pierre. First, I deduced Tip up and was standing to my left by the cash register because he wheezes whenever he's close to... You're allergic to cash registers, Goldie asked him. Don't be ridiculous, Hick replied. That box of golf, golf pencils, I finished. You're allergic to pencils? Pencil shavings. They emit an aroma similar to wood smoke. My respiratory system is particularly sensitive to particulate pollution, Hick chuckled. No pun intended. No pun taken, Ace said. Oh, said Goldie, you're allergic to camping. Who could blame him? Pierre gave an audible shudder. Camping food is so icky. You Americans have the culinary skills of the cavemen. Haley snorted. This from a guy born in Oklahoma, where the official state vegetable is fried okra. Pierre is desperate to become a world-famous French chef. That's why he sp that's why he speaks with that fake accent. Pierre would pour some wine on his Cheerios and tattoo the entire m musical score of the Blue Denebu Waltz on his butt if he thought it would make him more Francis. And yes, the Blue Denebu is all is actually German, but nobody cares enough to enlighten him. <sighs> A whoosh of air sliced past my face. Oklahoma, bah, Pierre spat. I have been insulted. I challenge you to the duel. Give me that, Haley instructed. Sword fighting with the clubs is not tolerated at Gadabout. Second, I continued. I knew Pierre was here because I smelled escargot on his, in his breath. What is escargot? Goldie asked. A fancy gasoline? A fancy world for snail, Hiccup, Hiccup explained. Oh, gag. Indeed, snail fever is highly infectious and may suppress malaria, Haley interrupted. Pierre needing a breath mint doesn't explain how Sneeze knew Goldie was here. I was getting to that. I cleared my throat for the grand finale. Third, Pierre hates mini golf and Hick has a moat phobia. Moats plus most mosquitoes eats equals malaria hiccup put in therefore two of them never come to get about unless anything of import important is a is a foot and if something's a foot goldie can't be tiptoeing far behind he's the snoop with the scoop right Ooh, gotta jot that down i heard her grope for her ever-present notepad i've been dying to change of the name of my goldie's gossip column for the school's na newspaper how's this Goldie lacks the snoop with the scoop. Haley's expressed the opinion of Goldie and Goldie's chosen profession with a murmured, even better, the snoop with the poop. Goldie stamped a foot and cuss sputtered in what might have been a Clinton dialect, complete with indigent spit. Swearing is also not tolerated at gadabout, Haley said coolly. That's two of the reasons I admire her. She's adamant with a running, safe, family-friendly fun center, and she's too smart to be intimidated with incoherent profanities. And she's too smart to be intimidated by the incoherent profanities of a Hollywood wannabe who thinks stamping a hoof like a reluctant pony will send people galloping in mortal fear. Haley's hand clasped mine for a two whole warm seconds. 
I'm sorry, Steve. As she let go, the raspy callus on her right index finger from years of playing mini golf snag tickled my palm. I guess this wasn't much of a surprise at all. No, yes, I mean, Ness. My hand felt stunned. What I mean is, I'm surprised I was supposed to be surprised. On the phone, you said emergency, which is different from a surprise. Although emergencies can be surprising. God, dithering. But Ace was 100% a, a surprise, that is. I didn't know he was here till he yawned. Ace yawned, Ace yawned again for effect. Of course he's here, Haley said. He wouldn't miss a party, would he? Debatable. Ace is cool, so he probably wouldn't even attend his own. That's what this is about, I asked. A party? For me? Well, duh, Goldie said with a yank that gave my sore nose carpet burn. The blindfold fell to my feet. Surprise! Everyone except Ace, who is too cool, shouted. I blinked. My sight first shifted to bl from blind to blurry, taking in the familiar sweetness of Gadabout's office, which is built with fake lollipops, gumdrops, and graham crackers to resemble the witch's gingerbread cottage from Hansel and Gretel. Despite my nose being closed with allergy goo, I'm allergic to particularly everything except water and air. I managed to snork up the beloved smells of my home away from home. The lemony tang of golf ball washing solution, the oily metal of putters, lily pads fermenting in King Arthur's murky moat, and the plastic pudding grains, sepia scorched from the blazing Southern California sun. Ah, it felt great to be home, back to my job, my sanctuary. The Gordian knot of disappointment that had twisted my innards in the past few weeks began to fray. Until, surprise, Haley repeated, softer, this time so only I could hear. My vision sharpled, sharpened to a crystal crisp. Steamers dang, streamers dangled from the Tootsie Roll rafters. A balloon bouquet bobbed in the less, less breeze of the ceiling fan. On a card table, arranged with festive forks, plates, and napkins, stood a cake. Oh, what a cake! It was baked in the shape of my most ingenious inventions. The nice alarm, a clock that awakens you not with an annoying bell or buzzer, but with two knights' taps on the shorter, shoulder. Above it hang a banner declaring in Haley's bold, no-nonsense hand, the same message spelled on the cake in squares of sugar letters. It's time to wish Sneeze congratulations. Rats, they don't know. Well, duh, Sneeze. I thought a la Goldie. Of course they don't know. You haven't told them yet. At that, my nose started to tickle and tingle and itch. I tried to hold back. Honest, I did. I wince pinched my tender nostrils and sucked in a breath so hard I practically inhaled a streamer. But, ah, uh, chewy. A sneeze of titanic proportions typhooned across the nice alarm cake. And that was chapter one of 100 Ways to Bug Your Friends and Enemies. So, we met Sneeze and Haley and Ace, who's just too cool, and Hiccup and Goldie. Um, apparently, it's his welcome home party or his birthday party. I'm not sure. Leave it in the comments below. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, tell me, and thanks for watching. Um... If you want more, tell me, and um, leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe. I don't really care. As long as you like this video, it makes me feel warm inside. <sighs> Remember that I'm everything, and everything loves you more. Bye!